who is the biggest savage on YouTube? Like, that's the real question. Like, who is the biggest savage on YouTube right now? What's up, guys? It's your boy, Rav here. Today, we're back with another video. I hope you all have a great day. If not, hopefully this video cheers you up. And today, I'm going to be talking about some of the biggest savages on YouTube. So before we get right into it, if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click that like button. You guys don't have to do any one of those, but if you guys do it, it means a lot to me. Anyway, guys, these are the biggest savages on YouTube I know. First up, Balin Levine. The reason why I say this guy is a savage is because he does everything that is funny. Like this whole hit, everything he does, it'll bring a smile to your face. And it's a really good thing and stuff. Honestly, all the guys I'm going to be talking about do bring a smile to your face. But Bane Levine does everything like in public that anyone can imagine. Like going to Walmart, doing uh, going shirtless in public, um, going on Zoom and being funny on there. Just everything he does just brings a smile to your face. But at the same time, you're like, holy cow, this guy's a savage. Like he, he gets out of his comfort zone and he goes all over the place. So that's why I say Bane Levine is one of the savages on YouTube. Also, Balin Levine's channel is becoming a hit on YouTube. Every time I check his channel, he gains at least a thousand or two subs. It's pretty crazy, so that's why I choose him. Next up, Jack Doherty. The reason why I call this kid a savage is because this kid is literally a savage. He does every single thing in public, like um, pulling pranks, doing dares, getting s kicked out and stuff, skipping school, getting charged. He went to Zoom bombing and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's it's he's just so funny though. But at the same time, he almost gets arrested. He called this lady Karen for she was trying to get his tag number and stuff, and she was over exaggerating. Jack Doherty's like, "All right, come on, Karen, you cannot." Oh my, it's pretty funny. But the kid is literally a savage. He's he's only I think not only, but he's 16 years old. But he does so much stuff at 16. He has 3.03 million subscribers right now, and it's so insane. The kid's a pretty talented YouTuber for what he does all by himself. So that's why I choose him. Next up, Cody Ko, aka the funniest commentary channel ever. The reason why I choose Cody Ko as one of the biggest savages on YouTube right now is because he makes some of the best commentary videos you'll ever see. And when it comes to roasting, he's so accurate. Also, guys, do not figure, forget about Noel Miller. Noel Miller is also a big savage on YouTube. Everything he says is accurate and funny at the same time. Him and Cody Ko have like the best, like the best combo when it comes to commentary. Also, guys, when it comes to Cody Ko. Everyone you he collabs with or makes a video with it's really funny And he's always a good combo when it comes to commentary and also guys he's roasted his fans too So that's why I choose Cody Coat as one of the biggest savages on YouTube Last but not least the name we have all heard before on YouTube PewDiePie <laughs> Okay, if I haven't chose PewDiePie, then you guys would probably dislike this video immediately. PewDiePie can end anyone's YouTube career in just one video. So PewDiePie has over 105 million subscribers, which is absolutely insane. He's also made diss tracks on very popular YouTubers, and he's also made funny commentary videos like Cody Ko on YouTube. He's also a very talented gamer, but here's the thing that I cannot stop imagining. What if Cody Ko and PewDiePie collabed on a commentary video together? They would roast any YouTubers they would see. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all really enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the subscribe button, smash that like button. You guys don't have to do any one of those, but if you guys do it, it means a lot to me. Rev Nation is growing. Let's hit 1K subs before the end of 2020. It'd be a dream come true for me. Anyway, guys, peace out.